Greetings! In today's quick video, I'll have a bit of an overview for you guys of all the promotional products from Schminka for 2021. I know the year is more than halfway through, but there's still a couple of items that are super interesting and I expect these to be available for the holiday season that's coming, so still relevant. The first item is a palette of 12 half pans in a tin for 24 half pans that comes with a letter case in grey leather. You might think this is familiar, this is not the first time this set is available, but apparently it's back this year. Then we have a regular set of 12 half pans in a bigger palette for 24 half pans. This one comes with a dot card of 24 dots, so you can try out these 24 colors to help you select which colors you want to add to your half full box. Then there's a good few super fancy, really beautiful, very expensive sets. Then in the list we have the Ocean Grey that I've talked about already, that was released a couple of months ago. Following that we have another limited edition color that they called Ice Blue. It is from the professional range, so from the Horodam range. It's basically an opaque light blue. It's a mix of a phthalo blue color with a white pigment. Then we have Lapis Lazuli that is back, and following that, they are announcing a Yinmin Blue. Now, before we all get excited over Yinmin Blue, it's probably gonna be very expensive since the pigment is very expensive itself, but it's really nice to see this color starting to show up in various ranges. And one of the last very new thing, like possibly one of the most interesting thing in this list, is the Academy palette for 2021. Every year Schminka releases a special palette, and it's a beautiful palette with a colorful print on the lid, which is very different and fairly unique. And finally in the list, I just want to quickly mention this Academy Icy Color set that I have already talked about. It's a bit like the same idea as the limited edition ice blue color, but this set here is from their student range rather than the professional range. Many of these items are available at Kunz Park, but I haven't seen anything in other stores yet, really. Like nothing about the Yinmin Blue, nothing about the Academy palette with the nice print, nothing about the leather case, but I'm keeping my eyes open and as soon as I spot them, I will mention it in a video. Then I want to mention again, Jackson's blog has two new posts that are really interesting. One is on the longevity of paper. It's a really interesting and relatively short read, so I would suggest you check it out. Super interesting. And then they have the first post of their pigment series, which features the white pigments. Now I have a bit of an update on the Shinhan traditional gouache line. They posted a promo video on their Facebook page. It doesn't show much, it shows a few blobs of paints, a few swatches, and so far, well, it looks like gouache. <laughs> Let me know if you have seen any kind of review of these paints. You can share the links or the info in the comments. That might be really interesting for other people who watch this video. And finally, it seems that Arte Miranda, you know, the Spanish website that sells art supplies, it would seem that they've redone their ordering system for worldwide or international orders. I know a lot of people seem to struggle with the ordering process as it was before, but this new one seems to be a lot more straightforward and simple. You can quickly check in their shipping info page for the kind of rates that would apply for your country, and it looks like it's making the whole thing more simple for everyone. Great idea, Arte Miranda, thank you! <laughs> and uh, let me know if you tried the new system for ordering, and how did it go? You can also leave your impressions in a comment below. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you have a great start of the week, and we will see each other in the next one. Bye bye!